Hi and welcome to the section Planning Product Roadmap and Schedule Releases. In this section we will explore further the aspects to take into consideration when defining the product roadmap and managing releases. By the end of this section we will be able to articulate what components and different levels of focus we need to consider when planning the release of our software. The topics covered in this section provide us with the right basics to move our first steps in working in a scaled, agile context. The concepts covered in this section will be used on a daily basis by the product owner and the overall business strategic stakeholders. That said, the knowledge of those critical decisions and drivers are the aspects that we developers must understand to gain the bigger picture. Another important aspect that increases our attention on the content of this section is in agile software development, it is our outcome, the working software, that drives or facilitates strategic decisions. We will start from the strategic view till the single user story definition to ensure we capture the bigger picture and correlate it to the specific details thanks to epics, features and user stories. We will then look at the tools that help us defining the business value drivers in taking strategic and punctual decisions. For the release scheduling and managing, we look to what and how handle releases in terms of frequency and overall approach. Now we move on to the first video of this section that will walk us through the different aspects that epics, features and user stories are designed for. Reviewing this video, we will become familiar on how to zoom in and out of different levels of content to scale focus and details for different audiences, stakeholders and views. In this video, we are going to take a look at the process and workflows we engage in for managing end-to-end -end the life cycle of our product, from the ideation until the single user story definition. We will introduce the concept of epic and feature, and we will finally review the hierarchy between epics, features and user story in the context of the Technis product. You might have noticed that for this course we are applying an incremental and iterative approach on editing the content. We are agile. Incremental because we add new content and concept each section. Iterative because the new section we refine, add different views in on the content developed in the previous sections. For instance, in the first section, Creating the Agile Development, we introduce the end-to-end -end process to implement Agile in our product development. Moving forward, while working together with the team and developing the key concepts around our Technis product, we somehow simplify the view and stress some of the aspects and leave some others out of the temporal picture. We focus mainly on the defining the product backlog and start sprinting, ensuring we have the right learn and adjust feedback process in place. That's perfectively fine, and the value we want to deliver at this stage was to acquire the minimal knowledge that could help us to get started. Now that things are digested, we will refine the view on how to manage the process from ideation to development and delivery, in what can be a large organization scale. In line with the approach taken by SAFE, Scaled Agile Framework, we structure the from idea generation to development and delivery process on the levels organizational strategy, SAFE names this portfolio level, product and roadmap strategy, SAFE calls this program level, delivery team, SAFE names this team level. At organizational strategy level, we define all the strategic ideas or initiatives and we first rate them via the initial business case selection criteria. Given the information we have available at this stage, we ensure the strategic idea is desirable, viable and achievable. Once the strategic idea is selected, we structure it in what is called EPIC. We will introduce and define EPIC shortly. EPICs are managed through a Kanban backlog implementation done workflow. The organisational strategy is providing the broader view on how our organization is operating and bringing value to our customer. Our Technis product could be defined through a set of epics that are harmonically aligned with other epics governing the overall enterprise architecture of our organization. To define the roadmap and strategy of a given product, we move to the lower level, 
the Product and Roadmap Strategy level. Product is composed by features. We will introduce and define features shortly. That said, we can easily intuit that those are the strategic capabilities of the product itself. The roadmap of the product is defined through a sequence of releases. In line with the Agile principles, the most immediate releases have a more detailed view, while the other ones further on the road are very likely to be just drafted. Each release contains a set of features and relates to one epic. A single feature can be contained by one and only one release. The product roadmap strategy level is where we work on the MVP. Our first release is designed to deliver the MVP. And we could think each release as the new incremental MVP. Within the release, the features are managed by a Kanban backlog analyze in progress done workflow. The analyze stage of the workflow is where the feature is detailed and decomposed in a set of user stories that can be delivered by the Agile development team. In the context of Technis, the product and roadmap strategy level is where the product itself is defined and its release roadmap articulated. One feature of the Technis product could group all the user stories focused on reporting for the service manager. Another feature could group all the user stories for reporting to external stakeholders. The last feature could focus on the user stories for prediction of volumes. One release might be focused on all the reporting features, while a second release might be focused on the prediction features. We finally move to the delivery team level. This level could engage one or more teams. In a large organization, this does not include more teams. This is the level we already addressed in the previous section of this course. It is implemented via a sprint or Kanban approach to deliver the product increments that will be included in the various releases. The critical consideration in the end-to-end -end process, from ideation to development to delivery, is the ability to feedback what we learn on the business value we deliver. This helps to adjust ideas and initiatives we define at organizational strategic level. At organizational strategy level, ideas or initiatives are converted into epics. An epic is a significant idea or initiative that typically affects multiple products. Not all the ideas are automatically converted into epics. Epics require analysis using a lightweight business case and financial approval before implementation. It might happen that one idea is initially not fulfilling the business case but Thanks to the learning we acquire from the product delivered value, we might re-evaluate positively the idea at a later stage. There are two types of epics, business epics, enabler epics. Business epics are all the epics that focus mainly on themes that deliver tangible value to the organizational business. For example, Technics itself and its analytics components. Enabler initiative that do not deliver direct business value but are necessary to put the organization in the position to be successful for the business epics. For example, the implementation of a cloud strategy. A feature is a service provided by the system that fulfills stakeholder needs and can be delivered by a single release. Each feature includes a statement of benefits and acceptance criteria and it is sized to be delivered in a few months. We can adopt the text patterns in order to goal, me as, to who deliver the benefit, I want, scope of the feature, for describing the feature, as well as the given, the context, if, the condition, then, the expected result, for defining the exit criteria of the feature. In this video, we iterated all the learning of the previous sections in the wider picture. Incrementally, we expanded our focus to the scale agile view of the whole organization. We looked at the end-to-end -end process from the ideation to the development and delivery. We introduced the new tools as epics and feature that helps us to scale concepts that are then detailed in user stories. What are the criteria we should use on prioritizing epics, features, user stories?